Hello, welcome to Dynamo KV Manager video demo. Dynamo KV Manager is a lightweight KV offloading framework that is easy to be used in popular inference engines, such as WeLLM. For example, when we meet heavy multi-client, multi-round conversation scenarios, our KV Manager solution will offload evicted KV caches to CPU host memory and SSD to avoid KV recomputations. So the first section is installation. As we can see here, we are already in the KV Manager dev container. The installation of Dynamo KV Manager is easy. You only need to pull the Dynamo adapted VLLM and the pip install. Other modules, such as the global KV lists here, are already taken care of with the installation of Dynamo. All right, so let's get to the second section, uh, which describes how to enable Dynamo KV Manager. So basically, when you initialize Dynamo VLLM server, you just add a KV transfer config here, uh, the Dynamo cache connector, and the KV Manager will be enabled. The rest of the config are the same. For example, uh, we enable the GPU prefix caching for fair comparisons, and we also disable the chunk profile. The server initialization process can last up to several minutes, depending on how many CPU memory blocks you are allocating. So as an example here, I allocated 200K blocks and uh, it will take around 600 gigabytes of CPU host memory. Uh, so great, uh, now the server is up. As we can observe, we have two terminals here at the bottom. Uh, on the left side, we have the server, and the right side, we have client. For benchmarking, we constructed a multi-client, multi-rounds workload, which was uh, implemented in this Python script called uh, multi-user test. Um, due to time limit, we will not go into all the details of this implementation, but we can address some attention on this config details. Uh, so first, we set like a uh, number of users to 50. So we have 50 users talking to the system at the same time. For each of the user, it will chat like 10 rounds with the server. And we set the system prompt length to be 1K, uh, which means uh, each uh, round, each iteration, uh, the ISL will be added to a longer sequence. Uh, of course, each round, each client will send a new ISL uh, to the server, and the uh, new ISL output, we set it to 128. All right, great. Let's start the client and see what we got. Okay, so we can see we having some new ISL here, and we can see a lot of logs here. Uh, some of them uh, belong to VLLM, and some of them are uh, Dynamo KV Manager. So to save you some time, uh, we can see the matrix uh, clip here. Uh, we can see from VLLM, uh, the GPU KV cache usage uh, is almost like 100%. Uh, so which means uh, many KV cache will be affected. Uh, that's where our solution kicks in. Uh, and we can see the Dynamo KV Manager log. As we can see, we s receive like 20K something tokens from KV Manager CPU cache, and uh, that's through the PCIe, right? So that's the time cost it has. Um, we also received like around 3K tokens from uh, prefix cache, but uh, compared to the CPU cache, uh, it's uh, pretty limited. So that's why we get the direct uh, TTFT gain out of it. Of course, uh, for a fair comparison, you want to get some perf number from pure GPU prefix caching. So that's easy to do. Uh, basically, you just delete this KV transfer config uh, from the engine initialization. Then you can run the same client on the right, and you will get the uh, TTFT and uh, throughput perf numbers. Last but not least, uh, we've summarized the perf data for you. As we can see, Dynamo KV Manager 
can outperform pure GPU prefix caching dramatically regarding TTFT when you increase the number of users or number of runs or both. Besides, SSD offloading is already supported. Uh, we did not address that due to time, but uh, welcome to contact us for details. All right, uh, that will be the end of this video demo, and thank you for watching.